location to. Location. Well, Beijing and Europe are the obvious ones, I think. Marble string. A field is a location as well, but not as specific as the other two. Police bomb, follow watch, snow, hood, tag, olivet, sub court. Court is also a location, but I still think the two proper nouns are better. So I'm probably going to go with the proper nouns. Beijing. So we're out. Are we blue this round? Yes. So I did good. <laughs> yes. Um, and Europe. You said two, I right? I said two. Okay. Then I will stop there and not take my technically feasible or my technically allowed third guess. So you covered up field, which is trunk. To. Trunk. T R U N K. Well, a mammoth obviously has a trunk. Um, so I think that's a pretty safe bet, but let me look through. I'm thinking the trunk of a car is almost the opposite of the hood, as an opposite, but there's got to be something better than that. Let's see. There's not no junk on the board, otherwise. Police car has a trunk, but that feels like a stretch. Well, I know Mammoth. I'm really sure on that one. But I'm only kind of sure on the other one. And I almost feel like I should stop because I don't feel safe going with Hood. My next, so for your information, my next guess on that would be Hood is on the opposite end from the trunk. But I really don't even feel safe guessing that, so I'm going to pass. Okay, police is gone. Time two. Well, a time bomb um, is a common spy thriller plot device. Well, a watch tells time, so that's pretty pretty obvious. Oh, time tag, because you're a programmer. Well, I know I'm going to do watch, because that one is just beyond obvious. But that second one, but I think, I think time bomb is much more likely than time tag. So bomb. Was that stupid or was that at least a good way to go? That one was fine. The other thing you said was stupid because I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, okay. I think I'm thinking of stamp and not tag. You might be. I've, I've looked dumber on the internet. Oh, fall is the time of the year. Maybe it was fall. Tube. Two. Tube. Maybe I'm just a really bad guesser. A paper tube, like a toilet paper tube or a paper towel tube. A flute is kind of tube-shaped. Spine is vaguely tube-shaped, but I think flute is better. Well, paper? The thing is, a subway is sometimes called the tube. Or a flute is tube-shaped. Oh, sub seems like it might fit better. Oh, you're killing me, Smalls. Sub. Oh my god. I'm sorry I'm a crappy guesser. I thought the London subway was called a tube. Maybe it was flute. I can't even guess my fall this time either, so... Crucifix. Unlimited. Crucifix. Okay, by saying unlimited, you're saying I'm on the right track. So cross is the obvious one. So you're probably telling me that flute is also correct. And by saying unlimited basically means I'm on the right track. What was fall was the other one I had for time. 
That was a very good use of an unlimited, but I don't think I have the last one. It was hood for car. Hood. Bro fist. Fist bump. Oh, that was a great use of unlimited. You spent the entire game overthinking everything. <laughs> Okay. That said, I could not at any point in the game put three words together, so I was aiming to try to get just to do this with four, and you overthinking everything ended up talking us into three. So that is a great use of unlimited, because basically by saying unlimited, you're saying everything that you were thinking about is on the right track. So that immediately told me that, okay, everything I've mentioned to you is more than likely correct. Yeah, all I, I just needed you to not overthink crucifix and pick more than one thing. <laughs> yep. And once, but I, I wanted to tell you all three of the things you were waffling about previously were actually correct. So three on that. That is a. Your watches are synchronized, so that's actually only one below the expected value. I call so. that a medi that that's a that's mediocre a, score. Yeah, it's that's not good. that's a mediocre. But that was a very exciting and very creative ending.